What's up guys and welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. I'm Captain Mike and welcome to my rigging station here. Wanted to talk to you today about really just a cool little topic here. You know, something that I constantly get questioned about and that's really the difference between the single strand stainless steel leader and the titanium leader. You know, what is really the difference between the two and is it worth using titanium? So I was rigging a couple rods for mackerel fishing. That's what kind of brought this on. And I said, you know, let me just discuss these pros and cons of each with you so you have really a good understanding. For starters, the stainless steel leader wire is certainly much more affordable. The single strand stainless steel is much more affordable than the titanium. And I don't care what brand it is. You know, here we've got AFW, American Fishing Wire. There's Mayland. There's a variety of different brands. Uh, the same with the stainless leader wire. This happens to be from a company called Caliber. I'm not even sure if they're still, you know, making this stuff, but either way you get the point. And then we've got a hook rigged, like I said, on some titanium and just wanted to share, as I mentioned, the benefits of each. Now, keep in mind, when are we using wire leader? Obviously, toothy critters, primarily mackerels, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, Ciro mackerel. We try not to even use wire, but of course you have to on most occasions. And then of course there's wahoo fishing where we use a lot of wire as well, especially if you're fishing live bait. Um, not to say that you can't catch any of these species without the wire, because you certainly can. There have been plenty of trophy fish caught you know on mono circle hooks right in the corner of the mouth or j hooks and guys have gotten really lucky as a matter of fact we were just out filming a reef show uh, about a week or so ago and i caught a really really nice king mackerel nice smoker in the mid 30s and it was just on a little half ounce jig head on 20 pound fluorocarbon leader but i got lucky i had him right in the corner of the mouth and that's you know really the exception because generally you've got to fish some wire, you know, to avoid getting cut off. So let's talk about the benefits. You know, the stainless steel, I tell you, it's really easy to work with. It's a staple. It's been in use down here in South Florida, you know, since the beginning of charter boats, so to speak. Really easy to work with. Affordable, comes in a wide range of classes, okay? Most of the guys that are targeting king mackerel will use something in the 40 to 60 pound range. You really don't need anything heavier than that. It's easy to make connections, haywire twists and different sorts of connections. Uh, it kinks real easily. You can twist it real easily, you know, using your fingers right there and make nice, really tight barrel wraps, you know. So like I said, relatively easy to work with, reliable, very accessible at just about any tackle shop in Florida is going to have the single strand uh, leader wire. Okay. And it works. I mean, that's the bottom line. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It works. It has forever and it will continue forever to work. Uh, but then, you know, in recent years, you know, I mean, not yesterday, but more recently, I should say, titanium was introduced, you know, titanium leader wire. And it costs, it costs a lot more. There's no question. It's much more expensive than the single strand wire. However, it really has a lot of benefits. Okay, it really has a lot of benefits. First of all, it doesn't kink. You know, here's the single strand, the wire. Look at this. It just, it kinks to a point right there. Okay, I mean, look at that kink. And really it's almost one and done when it comes to rigs you catch a nice big king mackerel or wahoo or something on a on a stinger rig with you know the wire it's really hard to get that kink out of there you could see it right there so oftentimes your rig is just completely demolished whereas with the titanium look it doesn't kink you can almost do whatever you want to it it almost has the characteristics of monofilament it doesn't kink at all like the single strand so it's much more versatile. It lasts a lot longer. You absolutely can use the same rig multiple times when fishing with titanium versus fishing with single strand wire. So the longevity of it is certainly a benefit. It's much softer and more flexible. And what that means is your bait is gonna have a lot more natural lifelike action. So it's not only easier, to, you know, easy to work with, but it's also going to allow your bait 
to have, as I mentioned, that maximum appeal by being as natural as possible, whereas the stiff wire may restrict that bait a little bit. Um, and the flexible wire is just gonna make it much easier for that pilchard, goggle eye, sardine, whatever it is, to swim much more freely and more natural. So that's another big benefit to it. You know, pound for pound, is it thinner than the single strand wire? That's a good question. I've never really inspected it that close. They're both pretty close. I mean, look, bottom line, you're fishing wire. It's either titanium wire or stainless steel wire, but it's wire. It's not nearly invisible like monofilament or fluorocarbon. And through underwater footage from our cameras, we've seen wire looks like a, like literally like somebody took a black magic marker underwater and drew a line or a figure eight. You can see it clear as day. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't care how thin it is. So neither of them are very stealthy. But if you can get thinner, certainly it's going to reduce that signature. You know, back in the day, guys were fishing with like number seven and number eight, single strand wire, really, really heavy stuff. You know, this is number seven, it's 75 pound. We really fish with number four, you know, like 44 pounds, something like that, 40 pound. You know, this is our preference in titanium. It's not rated the same, but it's 40 pound. Okay, so it's much, much thinner, you know, just much more flexible. Everybody really has a difference of opinion because some guys say you need to fish the heavier wire to prevent getting cut off. Other guys say fish lighter, this way you have some protection, but it's as stealthy as possible. It's really a balance, it really is. And it's a matter of preference, personal preference. For me, it's that number four, the 40 pound, 44 pound in that range is really the ideal balance of providing protection against being cut off, but also, you know, being relatively stealthy, knowing that the fish can see it. So it's really important that I have a really nice, fresh, live bait to offset that signature that the wire leaves in the water. The biggest difference, perhaps, in addition to the cost, okay, is what knots you're gonna be using. You know, with the single strand wire, you can use haywire twists, barrel wraps, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can tie a whole variety of different knots, you know, all bright knots, all kinds of stuff with that single strand wire. So like I said, it's much easier to work with. And other than the wire itself, you don't need any additional components or tools. Whereas with the titanium leader, that's a different animal altogether. The titanium will not tie the same way as the single strand wire. And while there are knots that are effective, you know, here's an example, a clinch knot, they right on the back of the package, on the back, right on the back of the package, it gives you instructions for the best knot to tie, and they recommend a clinch knot. The problem is it's ugly and it's big. It's not, it doesn't cinch down tight the way that a clinch knot would on mono or fluorocarbon. So I just don't like it. It's just a big, bulky, ugly knot, and it's loose. It doesn't even really look like it would really hold. Okay, it does. It's reliable. It really is. I mean, we've tried it, and it works. But I just don't like it. I really prefer to crimp the titanium, and I know it'll probably be hard to see, but there it is. You know, I'll kind of put my thumb up against there. Just a really, really tiny barrel, a single sleeve barrel. And that's how we crimp the titanium. But there's a trick here to make sure that it holds because the titanium is incredibly slippery. And if you don't crimp it properly, you literally will just slip this, you know, right out of the crimp. So I'm gonna try and kind of just show you this, you know, and I think you'll understand. So what you're gonna do is get the appropriate size barrel, okay, the barrel sleeve for the appropriate size crimp. And keep in mind, right on the package itself, this certainly should say, you know, of course, the diameter of the leader wire right there, it spells it out, okay? So it's very easy to just cross-reference and realize what is the correct size barrel. But then what we do is we slide that sleeve right onto the leader. We then take the leader and go through the eye of the hook the lure, whatever it is that you're connecting that wire to. In this particular case, it's a VMC number 70 live bait hook, size 70. So we go through the eye of the hook, 
our sleeve is still on the main line and our tag end is over here. I know you're following along with me here. We then take that tag end and loop it back up through the sleeve. So we have a loop that would essentially look like this, right? Okay, like that, your barrel is gonna be right there and I put it back up through the barrel. Just like you would crimp an aluminum sleeve when you're crimping monofilament. However, here's the trick. Now, instead of crimping that down, you then take this tag in that's coming out of the barrel and you go back. You go back into the barrel. So now essentially there are three strands of wire, of titanium wire, that are in the barrel. There's the original sleeve that's going down, the original strand, I should say, that's now going through the eye of the hook and then back up through the barrel, that's two, and then we bend it back and back down through the barrel. So that's three. At that point, we cinch that barrel down really tight with the correct appropriate uh, crimping tool. And you're really gonna need a small one. You can get them at jewelry stores. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna kinda, I should've had this prepared, but I wanna show you what mine looks like. Just stand by here a second. Should only, there we go. Should only take a second. Okay. There we go. Again, I apologize. I should have had this ready to go, but babysitting the dogs, doing a whole bunch of stuff. So you can get these little crimpers at like arts and crafts stores, okay? And they work. They work. They do for these tiny little barrels. They work. The problem is you just can't put a lot of pressure on them because they break. These things are super fragile. They're not made, okay, for the rigors of saltwater fishing. I mean, if I squeeze this really tight, I'm sure it'll break right in front of you, okay? And I don't wanna just waste a pair of pliers, but they're just not made for this environment. And you really can't get a good enough cinch, a good enough, you know, compression on that sleeve. So we bump it up, and I mean, look at these things. This is like a serious, real deal pair of pliers, but it's not, of course, it's crimpers. You can see there's different sizes in there for the barrels. And these things have really big handles. They're relatively heavy. What's the name of this company here? It's called Booms, Booms Fishing, okay? Booms Fishing. And this right here, man, you crimp down that sleeve on there and it's not going anywhere. So real important they have the right tool. I mean, just look at them in comparison, right? Look at the, this is, this is man style, this is kid's toy. So make sure that you have the right tool for the job when it comes to working with titanium leader. So you're gonna need the appropriate barrel sleeves, you're gonna need the appropriate crimping tool, um, you're gonna need some patience because it's really thin and it's hard to get that little wire in and out of those sleeves. So be prepared to have some sore fingertips. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have a much more reliable rig. It's more flexible. It's gonna last longer. You're gonna catch more fish with it. I'd like to say it's even more reliable. However, be prepared to pay for it.